Hi guys, we're back. I'm Christy. I'm David. And we're going to talk about grief today and how you deal with grief and how people deal with grief. There's been a lot of grief coming around with the I Kobe mean, incident. With the Kobe incident and everything. And, and this morning I lost a uncle that I was really close to at one time. Haven't been as close in the last couple of years because I've been out of state, but... So grief is a hard thing. I know when we were trying to explain to the girls and go through the process of telling the girls, we try to tell it in a kid-friendly version because they're eight and nine, but I mean, our eight-year-old, I'm like, okay, he was sick, so he had to go be with Jesus. And the little one's like, okay. And then our other one said, he was sick, so he had to be with Jesus. And she looks at me and she goes, so he died. I was like... They both handle it. Yeah, yeah no they way. handle yeah. it pretty much. And they get sad when it's people they know. Um, I know I've lost a grandmother the past couple of years. And I have one grandmother still living that I don't see as much as I should. But um, grief is a hard thing. You know, you it's bad when it takes something like a tragedy like this to bring a family together. Because you don't see some of your family members. You don't see some of your cousins or extended family until something like this happens. So that's a hard thing to deal with. And when you see those people, you're happy to see them. But you're afraid to be happy because you're at a mm -hmm. sorryful event. So not sorryful, but a sad event. So you try to draw that line between thinking of the good events, thinking of the good times. I'm thankful with his uncle that the girls were able to meet him and I was able to meet him. We were able to spend some time together with him and mm -hmm. what do you have to say? What? What do you um, have to say? I just was going through the pictures, trying to find pictures. I know we have some, but I couldn't find them today. But we'll just remember some of the stuff we did. Some of the happy times. Cause that's like him shoving my marshmallow in up camping. <laughs> Cause I like to, I like to burn my marshmallow when uh -huh. I put it in there. Mm -hmm. So he said, well, if you like it burnt, why don't you just really burn it? And he stuck my stick down in the fire and really burned it. Found out it was the last marshmallow. Then he laughed even harder. Oh. <laughs> Did you cry? Huh? No, you cry? I didn't cry. I ate it. <laughs> you ate it? Yeah, it was mm. a last but it was good. <laughs> or the time he was in Canada and he smoked and he decided he was going to quit while we were up there. And he was picking cigarette butts off the ground by the end of the week. <laughs> oh! <laughs> but, I mean, try to remember that stuff because it's... Otherwise, you just want to cry. Yeah. So. Yeah. They just remember all that kind of funny stuff. Oh, sorry. But yeah, I just, I don't know. Grief is a hard thing. Just, People deal with grief in different ways. Some kind of pull away and get quiet and don't want to talk and don't want to show emotion. And others feel like they got to stay strong so they can't be weak and... Then there's some people that just break down and can't get out of bed. And I feel like I'm not a break down, can't get out of bed. But I kind of feel like in most instances I have to be strong. But I have my moment, especially when the girls are around. I don't feel like I can totally just let go with them. But I let them see that it's okay to cry and it's okay to be upset. I think it depends on how close you are to the person too. Yeah, like when my grandmother died, I mean, I mean that was how hard. How much it's, you know, I mean, I don't know. Been, there's been a lot of it lately. Mm -hmm. Lost grandmas lately. And, and with being so far away, you don't always get to travel to see the... Yeah, it's hard. we were lucky to be able to see him Yeah, this it, past year. So yeah. we were having to have a recent and a good visit with him. Yeah. So... You know, it's just... It makes you wish you were closer to your family at times like this so you yeah, can see them I was, more. I was close to him when, we, when I lived in Michigan and when I was up there, but just, and I'm bad at picking up the phone and calling. It's not because I, I just am bad at it. I don't. I'd rather text. I, yeah, I don't, I, I don't call a lot. I just text, but I don't, mm -hmm. yeah. And it's just my fault. I just don't do it. So I don't check on them as much. Get busy and. Life happens. But yeah, it's, yeah, grief is. It's hard. My cousins that are going through it, it's going to be, nobody can tell you how to get through it, so. And one way you went with one, it, way with it, one person, it's not going to be the same with another person, because it all depends on how it affects you. 
and how close you were to that person. Like when my grandmother died, it was hard for me because we shared a birthday. We had that connection. We'll still have that connection that we had the same birthday. I thought that was kind of a cool, cool trick. Cool, cool idea. Yeah. yeah. You just, I don't know. It's, I hate funerals. I just. Yeah, I don't really like funerals. I'm not one of those people I don't like that. Going to them after the funeral, just, you know, I'm not one that. I mean, I know where my grandparents are buried, but I don't feel like I need to go yeah. to their grave all the time to visit them. I mean, I do, but. I get up to my first wife's about once a year. We yeah. try to. I mean, yeah. it's hard. You live down here, you just don't. And the girls know. The girls know where I mean, we're going. We, the yeah, girls have been. They get out and help us. They helped us clean it up last yeah, time. Yeah, they know. I mean, it's not a. About his first wife, they know who she was. They know funny stories about him because they know that she's the mom to Cole and Keith. Cole and Keith. So yeah. they know that they will call her by name, and I guess that would bother some people, but it doesn't bother me. Mm. <laughs> it doesn't bother me at all. Thankfully, I mean, it know. doesn't. I mean, it's but they're not in competition with it. No, I mean, you know what I mean. Like you don't get. I don't try. I try not to compare you. No. On things. I mean, so some stuff they do together that. <laughs> I mean, they come up with some of the stuff together that. I think it was one of our first couple of dates. We had went to Walmart and I had gotten the sugar cookies with the icing on them. Mm -hmm. I was like, "Oh, these are my favorite cookies." All through goes, the store. He goes, "Really." Those are your favorite cookies? And I was like, yeah, they're my favorite cookies. I was opening them up in the car before we left. And he was like... I finally told you. That were like were her, her favorite, favorite cookies. cookies. <laughs> yeah. I had never told her. So it was like... Sometimes you kind of wonder if she's like... Getting me. But I don't know. I mean, it's just been... I don't know. It's been a hard day. It's been a hard day. Because he was more like a dad sometimes than... I mean, if you needed anything, you'd go over and see Uncle Gary. Huh. I mean, mm -hmm. we've heard many of stories of Uncle Gary. Oh, yeah, Uncle Gary was, yeah, he was always telling stories. I mean, mm -hmm. never, never a dull moment when he was around. <laughs> and he could come up with a one liner and zing you like you had to watch what you said when you were around Uncle Gary because it was going to come back and get you. I mean, it was like he just, poof, he could like get you. It didn't matter. You could make something so, he could turn something innocent so bad on you so quick. Like he could. <laughs> But I did, we used to work together at a, at a shop and she would make me cookies before I'd go to the shop. Mm -hmm. No, you make sure to take some to Uncle Gary. So I would pull in there and I'd eat the last one as I was pulling in and I'd go in and tell him. So one time I used to hunt over to his place and so I got over there hunting and we had brought cinnamon rolls but they were too hot to try. So we left them and we were going to come back and after hunting and eat them. Well, he got colder. He decided he had to go Christmas shopping so he left early and they locked the house up on me. They usually leave the key, but they didn't anyway. I get up there, and my cinnamon rolls are sitting in the house. And I was sitting outside. I didn't get no cinnamon rolls. And he, he called me up and said, how'd you like those cinnamon rolls? He said, that, I just ate the last one. It was really good. I mean, that was Uncle Gary. <laughs> hey, I mean, yeah. But, yeah, this is just kind of, I don't know what tribute you want to call it tribute, but. Just remember. It's just about grief. All of, I don't know. Just grief and how you deal with how it. How you deal with it, yeah. Memories and. Life. It's that's the hard. Everybody part. deals with it, I guess. I just I don't. Yeah, understand. everybody Everybody's deals with it early. differently. Some people, like I said, shut down and don't want to be around people and don't want to talk. Well, sometimes and it's harder after because right now everybody's in shock. Like, you're I in, need, yeah, you're in just mode where you yeah, go. Yeah, because I didn't do so good with it after a while. But you just go sit in the truck for a while and. Can't do that anymore. He's got a Can't do that now. <laughs> homeschool an eight and nine year old. Well, almost a yeah. nine and nine year old. Yeah. For a little over a month, we'll have two nine year olds. Well, other than that, that's kind of where we've been at today. A month and two days. So. Two nine year olds. They're doing much better since they've survived all the <laughs> yeah. internet issues. But Yeah. Yeah. It's been going good this week, actually. Schools. We've had a good week. Schools went good. The diet's been going good. Yep. Um, I've so, lost more weight than he has. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I don't know. What to, I think she cheated. I didn't see the numbers. I did not but, cheat. But if I'd have cheated, I would have added more. Give me a break. I don't know. Yeah, but then you wouldn't have thought I'd believe you. But, but I would have said, "Oh, I lost ten pounds." Okay, well, you know this one now because she's talking. This 
<laughs> but uh, everybody have a good week. Tell your loved ones you love them. Yeah. Because you don't know when. Love you guys. Bye. Bye.